you have to bury a body, I hope you don't. <laughs> I hope that's not what you're doing this weekend. Dig twice as deep and then bury a large dog halfway above it. Who is thinking of these things? Like who has had this problem enough times where they had to come up with this solution? That's what I want to know. <laughs> this dude is going to be the next like Zodiac killer, I swear. He's just telling people, oh yeah, you just got to dig twice as deep and put a dog above it. No one suspects a thing. And they're like, how... How do you know that? And he's like, I don't know, I just looked it up. Or you're my next victim. <laughs> yeah, you might not want to be friends with this guy. Seriously, if someone gives you like a little bit too much advice with a lot of detail when it comes to, you know, covering up crimes, especially murder, don't talk to them anymore because <laughs> they might use those on you. But what's up guys? Today we are looking at some messed up life hacks that actually make sense. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and check out channel memberships. Links are all down below. And give this video a like and a share. And comment below your favorite kind of sushi. I have sushi on my uh, desktop background, so that's what made me think of it. I love me some salmon. Back to the point, uh, yeah. Let's do it. If you have a flat tire, take a picture of it. Next time you want to bail on an event or just skip work, send the picture to the person you're bailing on and enjoy your free time. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, yeah, of course, if you get a flat tire, that's a good excuse for not going somewhere, but you can't use the same picture, especially if you're kind of flaky. Like if you always want to bail on plans last minute, you can't send them the same picture every other day. They're gonna catch on, unless they're kind of stupid. But dang, my boss wouldn't fall for that. He'd be like, girl, I don't care if you gotta walk or push your car, you're coming to work today. And that is why I quit. Craigslist. I am so scared of Craigslist. I went on there once looking for roommates and I I'm never going back. When buying something on Craigslist, send a bunch of insultingly low offers from burner emails, then send a reasonable offer from your real address they'll usually accept it. <laughs> oh, that is such a good idea. I've actually heard this can work like the opposite. Like if someone's trying to buy something from you, you give them this super high price and then they'll negotiate down, obviously. But since you went so high, you'll actually get the price you originally wanted. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense. You know what, just listen to this guy. <laughs> don't call into work sick. Call in saying that you have family problems. That's the end of the discussion. That is so true. <laughs> Because if you're sick, sometimes they'll be like, oh, you have to bring a doctor's note or you have to have a fever, whatever. They always want some kind of proof, even though they're not legally allowed to. But if you say family problems, they can't ask what's going on. That's personal and it's inappropriate of them to ask. Sometimes I would say, oh yeah, I've had a death in the family and I have to fly home last minute for the weekend. And that usually is a pretty good excuse. <laughs> Looking to buy a car? Search the obituaries for phone numbers and call inquiring about a vehicle. They'll want to liquidate their assets and give you a great price. That's messed up. You're poaching on dead people, trying to take their nice cars. What's wrong with you? I mean, I guess that is kind of true because the family of, you know, the dead person, they got to figure out what to do with all of their stuff. So I guess you are kind of helping them out you know, you're paying for it, giving them the money. So I don't know, go ahead. <laughs> Spill some of your drink on the seat in front of you at the cinema to prevent anyone from sitting there. Yes. Oh, I got to use that when theaters actually open back up. AMC, I'm talking to you. Yeah, because then your drink, it's all sticky and it's gross. Ain't nobody going to want to sit there. But they do have cameras and I bet they'll see me do it like every week and they'll be like, hey, she's the drink girl. Get her out of here. Lots of noisy children playing in your street? Run them over, I'm kidding, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm, I'm totally kidding, it's a joke. Stay with me. Put up posters around your neighborhood warning parents that there is a known predator living in your area. The parents will lock their children inside and you can enjoy some peace and quiet. Dude, I gotta do that. Uh, I'm not going to, but I really want to. <laughs> Just scare everybody. Wow, that is such a life hack. But then people will think I'm the predator because I'm the one putting up the signs. I'm not a predator, okay? Baby on board. Buy a baby on board sign regardless of your parenthood status. If you happen to be in a nasty crash, paramedics and firemen will save you first. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna do that. Legit, I'm gonna do that. And also, besides that, if you're driving, then people won't, you know, tailgate you. Like if you're on the freeway 
and someone's behind you and they're going faster and they can't get around you. They'll get like really close to your car and it's annoying. That's when you gotta brake check them. <laughs> Buy an item at a electronics store, open it, return said item, check back in a day to see if it's on the open box table. Buy it again, this time for 30% off. <laughs> okay, you can probably get away with that once, like every few months and at different stores because they catch on to those things. Trust me, I've seen good girls. They did that and they caught on to them and then they banned them from the store. So you could probably get away with this like once or twice, but then after that, you might get arrested. So be careful. Trust me, multi-billion dollar corporations really care about their money and that extra 30% off you're trying to steal from them. Next time someone gives you slash you find one of those fake dollar bills with a Bible verse on them, those exist? Put it in the collection plate at church. <laughs> Be like, huh, joke's on you. What does that say? Don't be fooled. There is something you can have more valuable than money. No, there's not. <laughs> I, I hate when people say money can't buy happiness. Yes, it can. At least temporarily. Unless you're like Bill Gates and then money is just, you know, toilet paper. Cause money can pay your rent. It can buy food and clothes. And that definitely makes me happy but it can't buy love or friendship, at least legitimate love and friendship, but it, it can buy happiness for a little bit at least. <laughs> Try to tell a few lies, but do it really poorly. Confess to being a terrible liar. Do this periodically for things that don't matter. Actual lies go undetected. <laughs> really? Yes. Uh, what is going on with Jim here? <laughs> is he, looks like he's trying to poop but it really hurts. <laughs> if he was lying to me, I don't think I could tell. I would just think he's crazy. <laughs> when receiving a call from someone that you don't want to talk to, but must talk to, like your parents, <laughs> tell them at the beginning of the conversation that your phone is about to die. You are then free to hang up whenever you want without seeming rude. Cause they think the phone died. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try that. I hope someone calls me in the middle of this video <laughs> so I can try it. That would be God setting me up for the perfect joke. Put a blue ink cartridge in a red pen because no one steals red pens. True. People would always steal my super fancy pens in school because I would be nice enough to let them borrow it and then they'd be like, oh, can I use it the rest of the day? I just, I don't have any pencils. I'd be like, sure, just give it to me at recess when we're trading Pokemon cards. And then they don't. They'd be like, oh, dang it, I lost it. I'm sorry, it's just a pin though. And then they keep doing it. And then my mom is wasting like $5 every week buying me new pins. Take a peek at people's feet when they're talking to you. If their feet are pointed away from you, the person you're talking to wants the conversation to end. And they hate you and they don't care about the conversation. I think that's kind of true, I've heard that before. If someone's feet are pointed at you, then they're really interested in what you're saying or they really like you. But if they're pointed away, then they're getting ready to run. Ew, look at her nasty sandal heels. Gross. <laughs> How to remove permanent marker from everything. Ooh, this is actually a good life hack. So from clothes, hand sanitizer, walls, toothpaste or hairspray. Really? Wood, rubbing alcohol, carpet, white vinegar, vin vinegar, furniture, milk. Ew, I don't want my couch smelling like milk. Whiteboard, use dry erase marker or pencil rubber eraser. And ceramic or glass, use one part toothpaste with one part baking soda. There you go. That used to happen to me all the time when people were all about Sharpies in middle school. So, you're welcome. Almost finished with your jar of Nutella? End it with ice cream. Oh my gosh, Nutella? was my drug. I was obsessed with it. I would eat four pieces of toast every morning with this stuff on it. But on ice cream? Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. I gotta get some cold stone tonight. <laughs> Need to clean your microwave? Fill a bowl with water and microwave it for two to three minutes. The steam will loosen any dried food particles for easy cleaning. I, I'm gonna use that one because I have that problem all the time. I don't cover my food so it, you know, explodes everywhere. That spaghetti sauce just Blech. Hiding your emergency money helpful on vacation. Ooh, in a chapstick tube? What about the chapstick? I have never fully finished a whole thing of chapstick. There's always just a little bit or it gets melted and then I throw it away. Emergency money? I just hide that in my bra <laughs> or in my shoe or something. For crunchy taco shells, turn your muffin pants upside down. Spray with cooking oil and bake tortillas for approximately 10 minutes at 375 degrees. Automatic tacos, 
Yes! Oh, I want a taco bowl now so bad. Oh, with some beef or chicken and guac and lettuce and tomato and sour cream mm, and cheese. Why do people think it's so weird to put cheese on tacos? I don't get that. It tastes so good. Remove blood stains from clothing with Coca-Cola. I feel like this is the same guy who gave us the hiding a dead body tip. <laughs> He's like, oh, after you murdered someone and he took care of the body, step three, get the blood out of your clothes. Here's some Coca-Cola. That's a weird commercial. Starring Jeffrey Dahmer. Putting a dried tea bag in smelly shoes and gym bags will absorb bad odors. That's gonna come in handy for all those moms with teenage boys. They come home with their smelly gym bags of their football clothes. It's like, ugh, just put some tea bags in there. Problem solved. And that's it for messed up life hacks that strangely make sense. I hope you don't have to use about half of them. The last half were legitimate. You can use those without looking like a murderer. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Again, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Links are all down below. And give this video a like and a share so we can grow our socially awkward family to 1 million subscribers. I'm so excited. We're moving so fast and it's because of your help. So thank you. But yeah, that's it. So I will see you awesome people next time.